Hey people and welcome back to the island of Dr. Jarrell and this is part two I'm going to play through the rest of the map in one sitting I split it up into parts depending on how long it takes but today we're here to open the lighthouse and we're going to read note 5b that you're supposed to open supposed to read when you put the key in so Keys in. I don't see any doors to go in. No. I guess it just opened the top. So let's go and read this note. And we can get cracking. You insert the key into the lighthouse and it begins to shudder with life. A grand beam of light illuminates the harbour. Suddenly the old fisherman appears out of the shadows and begins to speak. You have done well to come this far. You show fortitude and courage, even against great odds. I feel it is time to reveal to you I am more than just a simple fisherman. My name is Joshua Baroka. I was once a budding young behavioural zoologist, eager for adventure and exploration. Filled with wanderlust, I travelled to this island with a group of scientists in search of knowledge. But the things I would learn, the things I would see... They're enough to change a man. In time, since I've abandoned the main group, I imagined their fixation with playing God and their capa cap capability to do so has only grown stronger. Dr. Jaro is planning something. Darkening the lighthouse was an attempt at hiding their twisted experiments from the outside world. However, he did not predict his actions would be the catalyst to your arrival. If you want to escape this island, you must find Dr. Jarrell. You must stop him. There were four of us who abandoned the Chimera project. The blacksmith is one. The lighthouse keeper is one as well. And now you must travel far to the north to find Dr. Bryce Matthews, the last. He will show you the way to the main research station. Be warned, you... Not everyone you meet is an ally. The forests are filled with interesting creatures. You should find Matthews near the bridge to the Northern Territory. Don your finest acrimants, for he may not be easy to locate. It is a long journey, so feel free to spend the night in my shack. Phew, <laughs> that's a long message. So... I got to travel north. We got a map, so we know which way is north. So I guess we're heading further past the fishing hole and up north. And I could spend the night in the shack, but I slept before I started this episode. So let's get going. It looks like on the map there's a building in the middle of this small part of the island so we're gonna head that way and see if there's anything there and if not if that's not where we're supposed to go we'll just keep going north it's a lot of sheep so many sheep oh well a black sheep as well god and a gray sheep Right, the map says we should be near a building. Aha, I see it. Is, this doesn't look much of a village though. So what is this? Uh, don't mind if I do. Take that. Read note six. In the middle of the forest, you discover a quaint little cottage. A small ed elderly wo woman greets you at the door. She tells you she has been dealing with an infestation in her basement. She offers you a small reward if you can exterminate the spiders and clean up the cobwebs. Okay. Spiders in the basement, eh? God, there is a lot of spiders in the basement. Uh, well, I will exterminate all these and collect my reward. Stupid spiders. Okay. Is it really necessary to kill the cobwebs? The old lady won't know. Hey! Pee off. I 
think our reward is over here. Yes. I'm not gonna do all the cobwebs because this isn't. Hey! Get lost! Wazzocks. No. 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 Just no. Right, screw this. I'm yeah, better sword. Don't mind if I do. Stone sword is pretty pants. Alright. I want to see if there's anything upstairs. I'm just going to ramsack our house, pretty much. What do we have? Nothing. Oh well. Well, I guess we got to keep going north then. Let's have a look on the old map. There we go. It's called the island of Dr. Gerald, but... I don't understand why there's more than one island. Oh well. I, I guess you could just got to go with it. So where the hell is... There's a crossing over here. A little river or something. Put that there. Use up this rubbish sword first. There's a lot of travelling as well, isn't there? Bloody hell. Oh, I found a path. These gravel things are usually a path. Let's follow this. Uh -huh, I see a bridge. Read note 7, okay. As you approach the bridge, which appears to be in quite a state of disrepair, the sharp twang of a longbow cuts through the air and a primitive arrow strikes deep into the flesh of a nearby oak. St Stop right there, stranger. Or you shall find his way through your heart. You thrust your sweaty hands into the air and tell him you are sent by Baraka. You explain the circumstances of your shipwreck and that you desperately want to escape this island. After hearing your story, he lowers his weapon and his brow furrows with thought as he begins to speak. I understand the nature of your predicament, son, but to be honest, none of us have any suitable transport for you. Aside from fashioning some crude raft, all your possible means of escape are in the domain of the damned doctor. I might be able to help you, but there are some people, yes, people, I would like you to meet first. However, as you may have noticed, our little bridge here is a looking a bit moribund. With a swift pace, you might be able to cross the gap. If not, there may be alternative options. A hooray for my terrible voice acting yet again. Okay. So I've got to cross the bridge. So a running jump should do it. Let's give it a go. Go, 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 go. Jump! Oh, what? You know I hate jumping puzzles. I can't even do one simple jump. Ah. Uh. I can't do anything properly. Jumping puzzles are my nemesis of custom maps. I hate jumping puzzles. Uh, gonna try again. Try and do a diagonal. Come on! Yes! Yes! I done it! Hell yes! Whew. I'm the worst person in the world at jumping puzzles. It's funny, really, because I've played a lot of platformers growing up. But at Minecraft, I suck at platforming so bad. Oh. What's this? Yeah. Golden ingots. As I was saying, I suck so bad at platformers in this game. Any platforming elements, I just suck at. Seems we've reached a village. Okay. Read note 8. Strange noises seem to follow you through the darkness of the forest. You and Dr. Matthews come up on a small village that seems to be empty despite the presence of a large campfire. As you reach the centre of the village, Matthews brings his fingers to his lips and lets out a piercing whistle. Nearly ten seconds later, a motley band of half-men, 
half beast monstrosities begin to emerge from the surrounding forest. One beast in particular seems particularly important. He dons a caparison made of round leathers and furs and sports a collection of primitive jewellery fashioned from the teeth of bones of various inferior creatures. Root of Tumblehair, leader of the scooped and forgotten, who, like all other liver, has been experimented upon by Dr. Jarrell. His efforts to combine the genetic material of man are beast to ruin the lives of these creatures. Most only remember their first names, and none are entirely certain. Evan here knows of a cache of weapons and armour that is imperative to access. At this point, the man beast begins to speak in a near unintelligible argot. Yes, sailor need weapons. We people have weapons, but fear Raphael Staphian, creature of skies. If you can calm Raphael's spirits, we can use the weapons. Staphian demands sacrifice of tears. One may find tears deep inside Devil's Mouth Cave. Is behind farm. Bring tears to great temple and offer to mighty Stephian. Many luck to ya. Well, it looks like I'm heading to Devil's Mouth Cave then, wherever that is. Ah, torches, don't mind if I do, and I'm gonna sleep. Don't wanna be going in the night, although it won't matter if it's a cave. Right. Oh, a broken house. <laughs> Nothing important in there. Oh, hello, certificate. Yes, you are a bit uh, deformed there. What's in this house? Nothing. And in here, we got a pig. Give me that pork. A seed. Should I take that? Meh. Don't see why I would need it. Testificates, give me your soup, stew, or whatever it is. Okay. So let's go to the cave then. On here it said it should be behind the farm or something. So the farm, well, it'll be the place of wheat, right? Right over here. Behind the farm, I see some signs. Temple of Staphian and the Devil's Mouth. Devil's Mouth, that is. 